Hey guys, so we have an awesome battle of the best budget phones between the Google Pixel 3a and the 4a. So let's see which is a better value for your money. Now right away guys, the 4a has a really nice looking design. It definitely looks a lot more expensive than it is. And it's also great in a lot of other categories, including boot up. As you guys see right here. And the 3 is extremely fast as well. Alright guys, now for the specs. The 4A is a larger screen. And also smaller bezels. Both phones have one camera in the front. And on the back, both have one. They are excellent cameras, and the 4A is updated. The 4A has more storage. And it also has a larger battery. The 4A also has a better chipset, with more RAM. Neither phone is water resistant. Now at the bottom, both phones are Type-C. And believe it or not, they have headphone jacks as well. And on the back, both are polycarbonate. Both phones have excellent prices. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright guys, get into it. First you have Reddit. Foray. Spotify. Now of course the Foray is going to win uh, most of these tests. But the question is how big is the difference? So eBay has uh, sought advantage there. YouTube. That one was actually a slight advantage for the 3A. Instagram. Very similar. iFunny. 4A. Amazon Shopping. 4A. And last space gap we have photos. Okay, so overall a slight advantage for the 4A. But now for gaming. Yeah, so so far I'm really enjoying Android 11. Um, I would say it's the biggest upgrade for Android in at least three or four years. So it's not that big an upgrade for stuff like speed or battery, but it's a massive upgrade for the features. So new features like the screen recorder, uh, chat bubbles, just a lot of stuff that I use more frequently. Now for a more simplistic game. And once again guys, a nice advantage here for the 4A. DBZ. And let's go and fast forward. By advantage for the 4A. Real racing. Again, advantage here for the 4A. And now for the big one here, Fortnite. Now, this is not available in the Play Store, but you can still get it from Epic Games.
Okay, so easy win here for the 4A. Obviously, we are also going to get better gameplay on the 4A. I mean, it ran decently on the 3A. Um, much worse than the flagships, obviously, but uh, good enough for casual play. But yeah, definitely going to have probably some lag for both of them. All right, guys. So now for uh, deep bench and runs in the field. Time now for Chrome. And as always, going to quit the web history. All right, guys. So first up, IGN.com. All right. INB.com For A Nintendo.com For A Samsung.com All right, so overall, sweep here for the 4A. Subway Dreams, Dan, no copyright. Now for the speakers. Now both phones are dual speakers. So first we have the 3A. Yeah, so the 4A is a bit better. Just more of an impact. Time now for battery. So what is run YouTube for a few hours? Alright guys, so we we'll back in a few. Alright guys, so over five and a half hours in. Let's go and check in. Okay, so it's fight of answer for the 4A, but both of these do a much better job than the iPhone SC. Now for the fingerprints. And you guys see we're on Android 11. So the fingerprints are in the back right here. And honestly guys, they're more accurate than the display ones. So not as futuristic, but very reliable. And pretty quick as well. So yeah, I mean, pretty similar speed. 
But again, guys, main thing, they work well. All right, so now for Ram. Now, I don't expect this to hold a lot of the stuff. So, going back to eBay. Yeah, restart for both. But a bit quicker for the 4A Instagram. Yeah, so for Instagram, we restart for both. Now, not going as far back. So, let's go into PUBG. And let's give the three, yeah. So, you guys see here, I mean, this is a massive difference. Because you don't want your game to restart. You'd lose your progress, and it'll take a lot longer to get back in. PBZ. Again, guys, the extra RAM definitely making a difference. Temp run. Restart for both. And of course, for any phones in these price range, guys, you're not going to have better, uh, better RAM management. So, let's see for the big one. Let's see for Fortnite. Okay, very good job for both here. Real Racing. Restart for the 3A. Google Photos. Restart for both. And now run Geekbench. So, 4A holds it. Yeah, so nice advantage for the 4A. Now for camera speed. Pretty similar. Time now for the front cameras. And stabilization. Now for the rear cameras. and the stabilization. We also have the maximum zoom. Alright guys, so bottom line here, so of course the 4A is a better phone, but it also costs more money. But that said, these are the best budget phones on the market, so you can't go wrong either way. But hey guys, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. And be sure to check out my comparison between the 4A and the SE2020.